with my very first official video. Cookie, come back here. Come on, have a seat. Co-starring my sidekick, Cookie Butt. Cookie Monster Butt. Whee! She's so cute. So this will be a unboxing of some things I purchased in January and maybe not really February kind of I don't know but I'll just say January I'm gonna try to do one of these at least once a month that's like a collection of stuff and then the mall hauls when I go out to the mall and I'm actually purchasing the things I can do in the process like real time so you can see those so it'll be like come shop with me type of video so let's get started I have a plethora of stores that I'd like to buy stuff from. Old Navy, Century 21, Forever 21, Walmart, and eBay, and websites that I like to get sneaks and stuff from. Disclaimer, I have small feet, so I like to buy boys size sneakers. So I wear a 7 in women's, so I buy a boys size 5. So if y'all didn't know, and you out there paying 200 plus dollars for some Jordans. If you got little feet, you can actually buy the kids, which look just like the adults, and pay less money. So, let's get started. The first thing I got is from good old Old Navy. It doesn't say Old Navy on the back. Oh, yes, it does at the bottom. Gap Old Navy Banana Republic Athleta. I think that's how you say it. All owned by the same company. So... I have a thing with Old Navy and their tights. Their tights are like phenomenal. I never find tights in the store, but Old Navy online, OldNavy.com, has like the best tights ever. Maybe one day I'll do like a whole tight video and show you all of my tights. So, I ordered some tights. They come in the bag, as you saw before. And they all come in bags like this. So it'll literally have like the barcode and it'll have the name at the bottom and then the size. So the size I normally wear in Old Navy tights is an extra small. Um, the tights tend to run true to size. So if you wear extra small in any other tights, you probably will wear extra small in Old Navy tights. The one cool thing that I like about Old Navy is how they package their stuff. It's so neat. They put it in tissue paper. Like, how cute is that, right? So, it's almost like, don't damage the tights. So when you, like, unfold it, it's like unwrapping, like, a Christmas present. So these are my first pair. These are called Elevate, Elevate Leggings. So, I'm going to put this over Cookie said She doesn't care. So, this is what they look like. The tag. Um... They are 7 8 ankle, which means they don't come all the way down to the end of your ankle, your leg. So they kind of stop maybe right before your leg. And they are high rise, which means they go over your belly button. So if you're the type of person that likes your tights to go over your belly button, maybe you have a pouch. I do not, but you might. These are the type of leggings you would get because it would hide that little gut thing there. And they're go dry, which means that they absorb moisture, so you don't have to worry about if you're sweating, like if you're running or doing any kind of activity, you don't have to worry about the tights feeling like weird. So everything that comes to your house in the package for Old Navy has the tags on it like you would get in the store. So it'll say Old Navy Active, Power Soft, and then it'll give you like a description. So it'll say light compression meets a ridiculously smooth peachy soft feel so literally like I wish there was something on YouTube where you could feel stuff like the tights feel soft I know that might sound weird but they're really soft and then it says breathability lightweight fabric lets you vent so you can breathe in them so they're not constricting compression holds you in while sculpting your shape again if you have extra fat places that you don't like these are gonna hold that shit in I don't have that problem and then four-way stretch, which super stretch for ultimate movement. So literally, it stretches this way, it stretches this way, and the legs stretch both ways as well. 
So that's a tag you'll get on every pair. And then it'll have like the old navy tag. It doesn't have a price though. So you won't see how much they cost when you order from online like you would in the store. So that comes with your little sheet on the inside. And that has like all your information about what you ordered and all that other stuff. If I can find it. Sorry, Kinky. <gasps> I don't see it. Oh no. Well, that sucks. It's not in here. Well, anyway. So, these particular tights were the first ones I looked at because I like the color. Um, it's a snake print. And actually, on the bag, since I don't have the actual thingy, it says TN Snake. So, normally I wouldn't have to go look up exactly what the color is because it would already be in the little paper in the bag, but you can see that they're a snake print. Oh, forgot to tell you this. They have pockets on the side. So you could put your phone or your keys or your credit card or anything, a small wallet, if you're going to go out and you're going to be running around. So these are my first pair of tights. Really? Pardon the interruption. Benjamin's going to have to get, delete that out. Because I didn't know my phone was just going to be ringing out of nowhere. So there's that. So there's those. I don't think I'm going to put the paper in there because I don't really need the paper. But it's good to know that they come packaged like that so you don't have to worry about anything. Alright, the next pair that I have. These are called Green Floral. Now when I saw these on the website, I did not see floral. I saw fatigue, like army fatigue. So you tell me when you see these what the hell you would think they are. Because clearly Old Navy must be on some old other stuff. Sorry, P. So these are the next pair that I got. Again, they're 7 8 ankle. They're high rise, extra small size. So you tell me what you think these look like. They say floral. I see camouflage. I guess it's all about what you think. But again, stretchy. Pockets on the side. I like them. They're really cool. And then the last pair I got. Because I only got three pairs. I try not to go too crazy with Old Navy tights. Because at one point I was buying like 10 tights at a time. Like, yeah. And I always try to get them on sale. So it's like 50% off. Because normally their tights run like $40 a piece. And I never pay full price for these tights. I refuse. And the last pair I got were these. Which... Blue, sidebar, is my favorite color. So anything that's blue, I'm like sold. So these are a little different. These are like a faded tie-dye, so it goes from light blue to dark blue. Again, these are the Elevate leggings, go dry ones. So all the leggings are the same. They're all 7 8 They're all an extra small size. They're just drastic different colors. So I like these because, again, they faded from the light to the dark blue. Um, these just don't have the pockets like the other two I showed you, but they're made of the same material. They have the same type of look and the same type of feel. So I recommend if you're like a tights junkie like I am, take your ass to oldnavy.com and go get yourself a tights. Yay. So that's my old navy one. Benjamin, we'll probably have to like edit all this part out if you put stuff away because it's going to take up too much time putting shit in the bag. Next. Next on the list is my other favorite store. Oh wait. There's a story behind this. So this is my next store. Benjamin hates H&M. Hates. He thinks that they're the most racist, the most this. We go into the mall He's like, I don't know why y'all MFers is working here because they put monkeys on sweatshirts. I'm like, Lord have mercy. Like, he just hates H&M. I like H&M. I've been shopping at H&M since they were open. Um, teen, like 16 years ago. Probably longer than that. They've always been my favorite store. So, normally when we go to a mall or somewhere there's an H&M, he will not come in the store unless we have to walk through it to get to the mall. He will wait outside. So, this is my second purchase. 
I have a receipt this time, so I'm prepared. So, in one of my Facebook Live videos I did a minute ago, I did a thing similar to what I'm about to show you for an unboxing. I really, really like these whole designs that H&M came out with. So, this is a turtleneck. It's a basic black and cream turtleneck with like a cool funky pattern. Um, nothing too crazy. It's, it's stretchy, so it's going to fit you pretty snug. It's an extra small and it was $9.99, so you can't beat that. But, the best part is, they have the tights to go with it. And the little story behind this is that I literally was going all over the world trying to find the tights to go with this shirt. Because I didn't want to buy the set without the set. If that makes sense. So, found the tights, went to one mall, they didn't have them. Went to Montgomery Mall, which is near my house, and they had them. So these are a size small. They were also $9.99, and they go with the turtleneck. I mean, again, you can mix and match. You could definitely wear this with some black tights if you have cream tights, although I wouldn't recommend cream tights. They ain't for everybody. Cellulite does not really like you very much. But you could wear this with black, or you could wear this with a black turtleneck or a cream turtleneck or some kind of sweater. So you don't have to wear the two together. I just think that they would look cute together. I would pair these with, like, some Doc Martens and maybe, like, a long coat. Just some ideas. So this whole purchase was $19.98. Can't beat that whole outfit for under $20. Shout out to H&M, even though Benjamin don't like y'all. I do. So, that was that. Next is Century 21. There is no Century 21 where I live. The Century 21 is in downtown Center City, Philadelphia, on 9th and Market, I believe. But when I am downtown, I always have to go here. Century 21 is like the department store of department stores. I don't know if y'all remember Lomans. Century 21 is like Lomans, except it's like 10 times bigger. It takes up like city blocks. It's like crazy. So, went to Century 21, was just really looking around. But I came across the coolest shirt. This is, it's like a velvet hoodie. Like, again, I wish YouTube had something where you could feel things through the camera because me showing you this doesn't give it justice. It's like so soft. Love the front pocket. I'm definitely a person that likes to put stuff in front pockets. Keys, phone. Because I'm into the whole messenger handbag thing. And I don't like to have big bags. So I like to keep everything like in one area. It says it's a one size fits all. It's by the brand Absolutely Famous. It's called Fuzzy Hoodie. And it retails for $48. Century 21. It was $19.99. Like it just looks so warm. Like it's like I don't know. They have like a cool little Always Famous. Like there's their little logo with the little tag on it. And again, it's fuzzy. And we all like fuzzy. Who don't like fuzzy? Binks is fuzzy. Oh, that's my nickname for her. I call her Binks. The next thing I got was like a whole bargain. And again, I don't know if you'll be able to tell with the color. I got a chocolate brown Levi leather jacket. Like, look at this jacket. Y'all, so nice. With the Levi's tag. But wait, the kicker is, small, medium, large size, it was $180. It was marked down 74% off, $46.61. Where can you buy a Levi's leather jacket for under $50? I'll wait. You can. So, this was one of the purchases that I was so excited about because apparently... Century 21 was having a big sale the day that we were down there, so I was all excited about it. Oh, Cookie wants to smell. You know she has to give her seal of approval for everybody. Oh. I don't know if she liked that. Well, anyway. About some details. Side zipper pockets, which I'm a really big fan of zipper pockets because people lose shit out of pockets, and when you don't have a zipper, then you might lose stuff. And then they have upper zipper pocket up here, so you can put your keys or whatever in here. And then they also have zippers on the sleeves if, like, you're wearing 
a shirt that might be a little bit too tight and you want to loosen it up. So then that'll loosen it a little bit there. But again, you can't be that. So, total that I spent for these two purchases, $56.59. And actually, my fuzzy fuzzy wuzzy hoodie was really $9.98 because it was discounted. So it was actually $10 off. So, my savings, $171.41. You try to go buy fuzzy wuzzy hoodies and leather jackets and see how much you spend. Mm. So that's my Century 21. I love this jacket. And it's kind of heavy too. Like it's not like no lightweight type jacket either. So that'll be cool to wear when the seasons transition. Which I don't even know if that's ever going to happen. Because I feel like we're just stuck in ever ending fall because of the weather that we're dealing with. The next thing I have. Everyone loves this store. Forever 21. And this was one of those things I was just like, oh, I'm just going to buy whatever. Like, I wasn't really planning on buying too much from the store because I feel like I have so much for Forever 21. So I went on a tights spree. Again, I told you with the Old Navy part, I love me some tights. And Forever 21 tights are so cheap. They're like the best. Who's want to buy some tights for five nine nine nine? Me. So, got me some blacks. You can never have enough black tights. So, I got two pairs of blacks. One pair was an extra small and one was a small. So, I don't think it really makes a difference because they'll probably all fit the same. These were the extra small. Those were the small. Just regular. These are high-waisted, too. So, they have, like, a little band at the top. I don't know if people care about that kind of stuff, but, you know. I guess to each his own. And then I got some gray ones. And the gray ones also, I got in a small. They have the band at the top. So these are something you could wear to work or you could wear out or with like a big sweater or whatever. And then I came across these, which yes, they are tights. They're not really high waisted though, but they're kind of like pants with a little checkered look. These were $9.99. So these are pretty cute. So I'll probably wear these with like a black sweater or something or like a hoodie or whatever. So my Forever 21 haul cost me a good old $27.96 for all four pairs of tights. I can't beat that either. Because, like I said before, the Old Navy tights, one pair of tights might cost you $40. I got four for less than that amount. The next store I went to is a store called Urban Planet. They have a website, just like all these other stores. And their website is urban-planet.com and they're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat and YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. So they had like their little sale. And Benjamin got me this really cool sweater. It's like basic. By QED London. It's extra small. So it comes stretchy. And with different colors. So it's a blue, red, pink, orange, yellow. But I like it because, again, blue is my favorite color. So I thought it was cool. And it was five bucks. Can't be dead. Next, this is another fave of mine. Off Broadway Shoes. OffBroadwayShoes.com. This was a sock haul for me because all I know was socks. So, I don't know if you guys know about these. These are, I guess, footies. I don't, I don't know what you call them. I guess. I don't know. I love the fact that they're neon colors. So I got pink, orange, green, yellow, blue, and purple. And then I got the tie-dye ones. So there's tie-dye pink, tie-dye yellow, green, tie-dye orange and pink, I think, tie-dye blue and dark blue, and then tie-dye pink and purple again. So the things I like about these, I wore these the other day, they have a silicone heel so they stretch better and they fit around your foot better, which is kind of cool. And I'm not a big sock person. But when it's cold, you have to have wear socks with your shoes. So when you don't want to wear, like, sock socks, you can wear these. And then they don't show in your sneaks. Because I have tons of sneaks, and I don't like my socks showing. And then I bought some Ultra Thins. These were 10 for $10. Oh, I'm sorry. These were, I think, $9.99. And these were $12.99. And these were 10 for 10 And these are just tie-dyed, like, ankle socks. They go right to, like, the bottom of your ankle. But they're, like, cool colors. So there's, like, tie-dye, there's regular, there's solids. So I spent $34.97 on 
a billion pairs of socks. Benjamin was like, I can't believe you just spent $35 on some goddamn socks. Okay, well, I don't have socks like that. And socks wear out, and you gotta replace shit, and that's what you gotta do. So that's what I did. Okay. Then, we have my lovely Walmart purchase. Who don't love them some damn Walmart? My pillow! Yes! <laughs> it's just a pillow. I think Cookie's gonna like it because she likes fluffy stuff. Cooks, it matches your dress! So cute! Yay! So, that was my little fuzzy pillow. This will probably be the pillow that, like, if I play Xbox or, I don't know, just laying around on my iPad, I'll probably use this. It's really soft and it's really pretty. And I really like it. And it kind of matches my room because my room has, like, a red theme to it. Now, we'll get to one of my faves. My shoesies! So, here we go. Benjamin also has an issue because he don't like Nike. So, here's my Jordans. Um, these are called the Women's Jordan Air Latitude 720s. The cool thing about these was they retailed for $180. So, you know I didn't pay $180 for those. I paid $87.50 and it was free shipping. Shout out to Finish Line. Finishline.com. These are my shoesies. Benjamin's going to be like, they're so ugly because they're Jordans. And, uh, 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 uh. oh, you want to see, B? Okay, she doesn't want to see. So, anyway, these shoes I saw when they, Jordan, I mean, when they had this campaign, Nike had this campaign, and Karuchi was wearing them with this really cute outfit on Nike's website. And I was like, they're so cute. I was like, are they boots? Are they sneakers? So, you probably wouldn't know that they were Jordans when you saw them, but the Jordan symbol is here, wait, and back here, sorry, it says air, I don't know if you can see that, but again, there's no laces, everything is like these little stretchy wires, um, they have like the velcro on the sides, which goes through here, and here, and that's how you tighten the shoe, and then there's a little clasp here, and then right here it says 23. For Michael Jordan's number. And then on the back heel part, it says 0023 on the right shoe. And then on the left shoe, it says Jumpman. And again, the same markings as on these. So they're like boots, but they're like sneaks. So I can actually wear them like when it's really, really cold. Because then my whole entire ankle will be worn. And they're stretchy. So this part stretches here. This is like the thing to pull the shoe on. Everything is very, very comfy. This bottom part is obviously like the air bubble area. You can't really see through it like you can with other Nikes. But it's really cushiony. Like I've worn them once and I really, really like them. And they're very comfortable. So those are my Jordans. And I haven't bought a pair of Jordans for myself since I was in college. So it's been a minute. And Benjamin is back there shaking his head because he don't like them. Benjamin's a hater. Y'all will come to know that later on down the line. The next pair of shoes I got from Zappos. Zappos.com. Zappos is based in Vegas. They have the coolest return and exchange policy. They say return and exchanges are easy peasy. Log into your account, select what you want, file instructions, print your free return label so all the returns are free. Shipping is always free. They're open 24-7, 365 days a year. But that's only if you're a Zappos VIP. So you have to go to their website to sign up to be a VIP. Again, these are some other shoes that Benjamin does not like. Because they're Uggs. And he likes to call them ugly. But they're slippers. They're not the actual boots. So these are called the Women Coquette Ugg Rubber. And the one thing I can tell you about Uggs, because I own like 12, now 13 pairs. They do not run the size that you think that they would run that you normally wear. So, for example, if you wear a size 7 in women's, you would probably wear a 6 or a 5 in children's. Unless you want to buy the women's. But that would be dumb because the women's are like 200 and the kids are like 180. Save yourself $20. But these are the slippers. So I will show you these. 
pardon Courtney, because I'm going to block your face. All Uggs come with their little booklet, which is so cute. It tells you, like, the pure, the plush, the tread light, the dry, the water retardant, all that other stuff. So, that's another way that you can know if you don't have, like, a real pair of Uggs. Because they won't send you no shit like that if it's not real. So, these are my slippers. And as you can see, they say Ugg on the side. And the <laughs> interior... Benjamin is making the worst faces right now. He is the worst. And the interior is like the fuzzies. They say Ugg on the bottom. And they're so comfortable. I have not worn them yet. But I like this Ugg thing on the side. So they're really comfy. And again, I did not pay full price for these either. I literally stalked Zappos website for like months. Because I was like, I'm not paying $129 for these damn Uggs. So, last month, they finally went on sale. They were literally $67. What? Swap them up like nobody's business. So I got those from Zappos. And the last thing I got was good old trusty eBay. No one can ever go wrong with eBay. And they little cute packages. This is something I've actually wanted for probably like the past year and a half, two years. But when I went to go buy one, they were all sold out. But now I have one and I'm all excited. Victoria's Secret makes the coolest robes and the coolest plush things I think I've ever seen. So I've always wanted one of their, I guess you could call it robe beach towel thingies. So I finally got me one. So this is my little thingy. It says pink on the back. So it's like a robe beach towel. Or you can use it as a shower towel, depending on what you want to use it for. Oh, Cookie has to smell everything. So wait, let's let her smell. Moment of silence while she sniffs the whole time. Okay, she said. So, extra small, small. And it's so cute because it says, I only sleep in pink. Aww. It's Velcro. Two places. So it's like a robe towel, but there's no sleeves. So when you get out of the shower or get out of the pool, you wrap it around yourself and then you Velcro it back together. So you would Velcro it here, if you can see that. I don't know if you can. And then Velcro it here at the top. Hopefully it'll stay, but I won't really be wearing this that much, so it should be good. And again, it says pink on the back. And then it's got a little pocket here. So I've always wanted one of these, so now I finally have one. And it was only 20 I think it was $20 on eBay. But I think they retailed for like 50 some bucks in the store. So. <sighs> My haul is finished. Thank you, Cookie, for being a lovely participant with your little drink. Thank you, Benjamin, for being the cameraman. Really. He won't shake the camera. This is only one of my hauls because I have a whole nother haul to do and that's all Hollister stuff. So that will be in my next video. But I thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Click that little bell. Make sure you get my notifications and I'll see you in my next haul. Bye!